the mysterious deaths of three men who went to watch a football game and never came home. Ricky Johnson, Clayton McGinney, and David Harrington were found dead outside a friend's home in Kansas City on January 9th, two days after the men gathered there to watch the Chiefs' regular season finale. Michael George is here with the latest on the case. Good morning, Michael. Michelle, good morning. I spoke with the brother of one of the men, Ricky Johnson. He says all the family wants is answers. How could three friends end up dead, their bodies outside frozen, after going to a football watch party. Now, one thing the family is sure of, they don't buy the story of the man who hosted the party. And that is how it's going to end here in Los Angeles. It was January 7th. The Kansas City Chiefs eked out a close win against the Chargers in balmy Los Angeles. But back in Kansas City, it was in the low 30s, with blizzard conditions in the forecast. Three longtime friends, Ricky Johnson, Clayton McGinney, and David Harrington, watched the game at a friend's house. But after the party, all three friends went missing. Two days later, police say a fiancé of one of the men came to the house looking for answers and found a body in the backyard. Officers discovered two more. The cause of death is still unknown, but investigators say there were no obvious signs of foul play. We deserve answers. Jonathan Price is the brother of Ricky Johnson. What do you think happened that night? The only thing I know for a fact is um, I don't accept that my brother just froze to death. There has to be something else involved. Um, whether it's drugs or something else, I have no idea. Family members have questions for Jordan Willis, the man who hosted the party. Police say he has cooperated with the investigation. Jordan had absolutely nothing to do with the deaths of his three friends. Through his attorney, Willis claims he had no idea the three bodies were in his backyard for two days. He says he thought his friends left his house that night. In the early morning hours, Jordan, around 2 a.m., he believes, uh, he got sleepy. He said, I'm going to crash on the couch. Uh, and he said goodbye to his buddies, and he thought that they left out the front door. The attorney says Willis didn't respond to family members' attempts to reach him because he was asleep. I know that his story does not add up, and I know that he's not telling the truth in some way or fashion. Price says his brother Ricky was a loving father to three young girls. He has always been a role model to me, you know, someone I admired. For the families, the hardest part is having no explanation why their loved ones are gone. How are you supposed to heal from something that you don't even know what happened? And those answers may have to wait until the results of the autopsies are finished. Now, look, it was cold that night, around 34 degrees, but something doesn't add up here. These guys weren't in the woods or on a right. mountain. They were in someone's backyard, so the family still has a lot of questions about this. Do we have any idea how long the autopsy until we'll know some of those answers? We're hearing about another week, week and a half, but that's a long wait for these families. Yeah. Well, wow. I said, at this point, Right, initially, at least, no signs of foul play. Right, but right. All right, Michael. We don't know. Very, Thanks, very strange story.